When I went to a boat show last year, Boston Whaler had this half of a boat sitting there, and I thought it was the funniest thing. Here's a boat I might be able to afford. It's really half of a whaler, but you know, it might be within my budget. They had it for demonstration purposes to show how their boat could float even if it was cut in half. But I always thinking about the fact that you could own half of a boat. And you know, half of a boat is a lot cheaper than owning a whole boat. But it's not always a good idea to do something like this. And I think for most of us, it's a terrible idea to actually go into a partnership with somebody where we're equal owners of a boat. And I'm gonna talk about why in this video. Breaking news, boats are expensive, right? I mean, come on. And they're not going down in price anytime soon. Whether you're buying a cheap used boat or a brand new boat, they're expensive. Look at the price of these small outboards. That's expensive for some people. And here's the tempting aspect of it. If I've only got $5,000 I could spend on a boat, if my buddy is $5,000, now all of a sudden we can get a $10,000 boat. Mmm, doubled my budget. But that's not necessarily a good idea because you might gain a $10,000 boat, but you might lose that buddy and obviously ultimately lose that boat. Buying a boat with a friend sounds really great on paper because, hey, now you've got somebody to share all of the costs and not everybody's using their boat every day. Matter of fact, there might be some weekends you're out of town and can't use it and they could use the boat. So the boat gets a little bit more use. You spend half as much money. It all sounds like a good idea. The real problems come with all of the aspects of boat ownership and boat usage. Some of the places where joint ownership of a boat could be a real problem is with usage of the boat, repairs, upgrades, how your significant others feel about the other people and usage of the boat, and maintenance. And obviously another area to consider is how important this friendship is. If they want to use it one weekend and your family doesn't necessarily want to go with their family or vice versa, well now you can't use your boat that weekend or that day. There are a lot of times where the weather is bad. So for example, if you have a plan and you say, oh no, we come up with a great plan every other weekend. So I get the first and the third weekend of the month and they get the second and the fourth. There are some summers where the first and third weekend of the month, it could rain or the weather could be terrible while the second and fourth weekends are beautiful. Another place where this can really fall apart is if something goes wrong. For example, if your friend takes the boat out and something starts clunking behind him, making a bit of noise as he's coming back into the dock, but he ignores it, doesn't say anything to you about it. And then you go to take the boat and it immediately starts doing that. If you have an arrangement where whatever happens while you have the boat out, you're responsible for those repairs, you can see how this can go badly. Here's another example of where this could go terribly wrong. Let's say you have some old dock lines on this boat and your friend might be perfectly fine with them, but you look at them and they're, they're dirty and dingy and kind of frayed. You pick out some nice looking new dock lines. Next thing you know, you've spent a few hundred dollars on some supplies for the boat. Now in your mind, these are improvements to the boat and you feel it was a good investment. Your friend might be like, the old dock lines and fenders were just fine. Why did you waste money on that? Now I've got to come up with my half for something that I don't feel we needed to buy for the boat. Do you see how this could be a potential problem? And what if your significant others or your families don't really care to spend all of their time with this other person or share this resource with this other person and their family? Those kinds of things can make a lot of friction. You might be sharing a home with your significant other, so you might have to hear a lot from them if there's any problems with your boat partner. If you and your friend are not the same personality types with the same types of capabilities, this could be a real, real challenge. Let's say you're very handy. You're a DIY kind of person. You don't mind putting an impeller in a boat, changing lower unit oil, or something like waxing the boat. But if your friend who you own the boat with doesn't know how to do any of those kinds of things or have any interest in doing those kinds of things, now you're putting forth a lot of work into the boat 
and what are they doing to make it equal? If neither of you do any of those types of things and you're just always paying for people to do that kind of work and you split those costs evenly, that can work out okay. But sometimes one person may decide, oh, I wanna go with this company to winterize the boat and that company's charging $1,000. What if you don't have the $500 you need right now to be able to pay your half of that? And you'd rather winterize it yourself or find somebody cheaper, but they'd rather go with them. Here's another place where you could butt heads and have a problem where there wouldn't be a problem if you owned the boat outright. If this is a business relationship and this is somebody who's just an acquaintance and you view this purely as a business relationship, you might be able to make it work out really well. Or if this person is a very close family member who you have no problem with fighting on a Tuesday and then going out for beers on a Wednesday, maybe you could make it work. Personally, I would rather have the whole burden of ownership on me. There are some people who have successfully done a joint ownership of a boat for many years and it's worked out fine for them. But I honestly think that the odds of it not working are much greater than the odds of it working. So let me know your thoughts on whether you would venture into a partnership with a friend to be able to own a boat. Until then, here's a video you should check out. It's a good one. Thanks for watching this one and let me know your comments below.